Hey folks, anybody who's been smoking cigars for more than about a month knows that there's a tendency to buy more cigars than you can smoke. Um, and accordingly, you have to store those. This is a little story about my collection and how it grew and a little discussion about what many individuals typically experience when they start collecting and smoking cigars. What you're looking at here is a just a nice little uh, 25, no excuse me, 50 count um, humidor that came from cigarsinternational.com. I believe it came with a little 20 count sampler and that's how many of you um, get into your first humidor. It's not bad, well made, um, seals great, um, but you're going to wind up outgrowing this pretty quickly, um, often in a matter of months, if not quicker than that, as you explore and you learn about more cigars that you want to try and you buy sample packs and they begin to pile up. The guidance that's typically given on the humidor um, forums when individuals ask what their next humidor should be, you buy three times as much as you need. Um, many people don't pay attention to that guidance and wind up just stepping up into this 100 to it's really an 80 to 120 count humidor really is realistically it's it's an 80 count humidor um, not so much a 120 um, and you pick out a nicer one with some nice little wood inlay or something thinking this is this is going to be it this is going to be my last humidor i really like this one it's going to be more than enough space and it lasts you a year max so you go shopping or you go to the discussion boards and you learn about cooler doors and you start to use a cooler door and make that part of your life but at the same time you still want another nicer um, humidor and you wind up upgrading to include a 300 count. These 300 counts are where many individuals manage to stop sometimes there are significant others required of them um, because at this point it's starting to become a pretty expensive hobby. These 300 counts um, nice quality ones with solid solid uh, Spanish cedar and everything. Um, they'll do the job. Um, paired with a cooler for your boxes, um, you keep this for all your singles, and this is where a lot of individuals uh, find themselves kind of topping out as far as their collection goes. Um, in many cases, you wind up needing more space. By the time I got this one, I had this one filled up, plus a cooler plus these other two, plus a little travel case, plus two more 30 count cases. It was ridiculous. Um, I was doing box splits and I just had partial boxes um, of, of 10 or 15 in them and I needed a lot more space. As you can see back here, these are all empties um, that I've smoked down. Um, lots, of, lots of goodies there that's come and gone up in smoke. What you wind up doing is you wind up settling into a comprehensive solution and for me that comprehensive solution was a aristocrat armoire humidor. I was able to get this one second hand from a gentleman whose spouse um, allowed him to um, build a walk-in humidor. A great lady and a very lucky man. I bought this about a month and a half ago. Got it all stocked up and let me walk you through it real quick. The Armoire Cabinet Humidor is a little bit narrower than the MXT series that uh, Aristocrat Humidor sells, Bob Stedell and Company. And it's got the glass and a split partition. So you can open up the top and the bottom separately without having to uh, necessarily open either one of them. And it helps keep the uh, humidity a little bit more stable compared to some of the other designs. As you can hear from the whirring, this one has a set it and forget it. Um, the fan system, I've got one fan down here, um, so we don't over humidify my singles. The singles drawer was an optional extra that isn't included in the base or more as far as I know. Um, that was something that was uh, I got from the previous owner. But the set it and forget it system is really, really pretty sweet. Um, and I'll walk you through it real quick. What was this bottom one? What you see here is you have this little reservoir that holds about a quart of distilled water and the fan draws water, air through this wick. The wick draws up water from the reservoir 
and the, the excavated air from the fan um, just becomes humidified by, be, by virtue of being drawn through this wick. It works really well. After I open up um, this humidor and basically dump all the air out of it or circulate it, um, it only takes about half an hour for the humidity to recover. The whole system is controlled by a control unit up here that alternatively displays the, uh, the temperature and the humidity. Right now the humidity is dropping because I've got it open. Temperature is in the 70s, that's just where I've got my low 70s is where I've got my uh, air conditioning set. And it's integrated into the case through this wiring. Um, this right here is the device that it uses to sample the relative humidity. And these wires run up, down, and all through the case to the plugins that are just quick connects so that you can uh, remove these uh, humidification elements separately and refill them. They just unplug. It's, uh, it's kind of an electronics connector. Pretty, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. It's pressed down, it releases the tab, pull up, and you can hear it kind of wind down. Not too complicated. Works great. It's built into the system. The uh, set and forget, I believe, is an optional extra with the system. I think it costs three hundred dollars um, in addition. There's a three percentage humidity difference between the top and the bottom. What I've measured based on the little um, I believe this is a Zycar generic um, hydrometer. It's um, right at seventy or seventy-one on the bottom, and at the top it'll be um, between sixty-three and sixty-five percent relative humidity. So. Typically a three or four, sometimes five uh, percent difference. Not gonna make a big difference. I haven't had any concerns with over humidification or under humidification with the system. At the top, we've got a couple little fans to help circulate the air. Um, I don't know for sure if there's multiple sensors. I believe there's only one sensor, but um, periodically I'll hear these little guys kick on and they'll help circulate some of the humidity from the top to the bottom and, and vice versa. Keep everything balanced out. The armoire is made of solid mahogany. Mahogany crown molding, mahogany overlay. Um, very well made with Spanish cedar inside. Spanish cedar trays, Spanish cedar lining, and all that good stuff, I believe. Well, I'm not a woodworker, so I'd, I'm, not, I don't, I'm not sure where the uh, how it all comes together, but it's incredibly sturdy, fairly heavy, about 120 pounds. The doors have these nice high quality hinges that are inset into the doors and they, and they seal very flush. Uh, as you can see, we've got these high quality, high strength magnets that attach to a steel plate. And the same down here, you've got a little stop right here to prevent them from closing any further than they're supposed to. Oh no, I'm sorry, that, that stop is for the locking system. This this uh, little bad boy right here rotates up into behind this little metal. They have a nice high quality foam weather, weather stripping on here. This particular aristocrat is I think at least two or three years old um, and it's holding up really well. I don't have, uh, it keeps its humidity very, very well and seems to be working out really well. When I fill these up, I filled these up, these um, reservoirs up when I got it and, I and it's only about half empty. So based on the temperature I keep in my house and how often I get into it, which is about once a day, um, it seems like one gallon of distilled water will last you at least three months and probably closer to four or five honestly because this bad boy is half full and it's been I think at least six weeks got a nice little collection here and it's and it's obvious that all of this would not fit in uh, my various other humidors and I just wanted a nice display case to bring it all together and to wrap it all up put it in one place rather than spread out between six different little travel humidors. So you've got, we've got my little little travel guys here. Nice big uh, 50 count from the Outlaw and a 30 count. 
Um, and so that's that's my story. Um, I keep on buying cigars. This is actually smoked down from where it was. Um, recently got a shipment of Padron in and did a box split that many of you watching this may actually have participated in. But uh, it's a wonderful hobby um, and sometimes um, the amount it grows is only limited by the person yourself or someone else who tells you no. So I hope you enjoyed seeing this. Um, if you have any questions, hit me up. I'll be happy to answer it. Take care.